Thank you, sir. An educationist and a great philanthropist. He is an initiated disciple of Ramakrishna order and tries to practice the perspects as preached by Swami Vivekananda to serve God in man, not notwithstanding. <laughs> I, on behalf of Vivekananda uh, Institute of Your Studies, extend a very hearty welcome to the Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Pameer Sanha, who is the CEO, and a man who is the moving spirit behind the distribution company called NDTPL. NDTPL. Uh, it's a very, very heartwarming event. And I'm really, I mean, for the first time in one of the, one of such events, I'm mighty happy that I, I, I'm really rejoicing this every moment that you have organized an HR meet of this magnitude, where eminent people like Mr. Pavishana are there to share their wisdom and to lay a path for you as to how to trade on and how to be industry ready, how to be acceptable. Well. We have a distinguished guest of honor, but a wonderful friend who guides us in our moments of difficulty. He is Dr. Mithun Malik, who is an anthropologist, and the best part of it is that he is an anthropologist. I respect him as an academician and as an administrator both, because he has the, he is a combination of these two good qualities, where he is required to deliver a good lecture, he keeps his audience well bound and wherever he is supposed to administer the self-financing institution, he administers those very efficiently. Well, my dear students, you are here to learn a few bits and Mr. Chawla, I extend to you a very hearty welcome. Uh, Mr. Rishi Chawla, on behalf of Philips and the government's representative for CSR, the corporate social responsibility. So, let me uh, trace back a little bit of history, you know. Yes, Divya, can you let, uh, let me know the name of the guest? I extend a very hearty welcome to Mr. Sandeep Bharatwaj. And I'm Dr. Vars, I happen to be chairman of here. <coughs> Well, I'm not new to the NDPL because uh, our law began in the year 2004 when the government of NCT of Delhi uh, prioritized uh, distribution of the electricity in Delhi. And it was a very major decision because the AT&T losses at that time were 52%, staggering to 52% thefts were taking place. And they used to hook on the live wire and most of the electricity was, was being stolen. 52% at and losses and it was in perennial losses, the so-called daily electricity supply and rigging. And it was, a goal, it was a very bold initiative on the part of popular government to privatize distribution of electricity in Delhi. A lot of critics were there. I was also one of one, one of those critics when privatization of electricity was done. And I happened to be the chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, which has a third eye because I'm assisted by the Auditor General and the Principal Secretary of Finance. And there were so many irregularities. And we had a lot of moments of struggle the consumers had to struggle the way out to have a grievance redressed by the NDPL and likewise the Yamuna and the Rajthani and the two, three, uh, two discounts. But I must uh, uh, compliment the Tata Power for the most professionally executed jobs that they have done. First, I educated myself what this power study is all about. How does a transformer function? They were most, you know, British time transformers which required the silica, silicon level and the oil level to be tested. 
the field length was more than 200 meters. I educated myself to what the pent, what the gantries are, and what the bus bar is all about, and how is the is the whole power station set set up. You know, during my time, Mr. Kabir Sena, 33 kV and 66 kV PP3 grid was commissioned. Now the PP3 grid is one of the most modern and the most sophisticated uh, power stations. So it's one of the power grids, 66 bit, yeah, uh, 66 uh, kV power grid. I educated myself as to how does electricity function. I still have an example of a distribution company in public sector. I'm comparing the two sectors, the private sector and the public sector. NDMC is one distribution company, which of course has a few megawatts of electricity to be distributed in the New Delhi area, restricted to New Delhi area. It may not account for much of Delhi, but then they have the lowest AT&T losses, nearly 6 to 7 percent. At that time, when I examined the estimates of the committee, um, at that time, they were about 3 percent AT&T losses. And now, the NDPL has done a marvelous job by putting in quality appliances, by state-of-the-art appliances, by uh, putting in the best of conductors, ABC conductors, uh, there's less of transmission loss. And on everything they economized, but not, they have not done it like they are, you know, uh, like the other, you know, two distribution companies which are much in criticism all the time. Consumers are absolutely sick of the Rajthani and the Yamuna. I have no right to, on a, from, a, from a public platform, because they are also a distribution company. But they are not a model to be followed. Tata Power is one of the models that we can be proud of. And the whole credit goes to professionals like Mr. Praveer Sena. I thank him for his having to agree to be chief director. Whatever job they are executing, it has a touch of class. And the Tatas have brought a good name. They can be trusted for, they can be entrusted with the job of distribution of power in private sector. It's an example that we often quote. When we took up the Auditor General's, uh, you know, the audit paras, and then we critically examined that, the whole process of privatization was messed up. And it, it smacked of so many things because Administrator Staff for Hyderabad was given the task of, you know, uh, diluting the, you know, we wanted to disinvest from the, 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 uh, the Delhi State Electricity Board. And we wanted to have the, you know, the SBI capital. We had we, we engaged two firms, and then they were asked to uh, put an estimate of 3,600 odd crores for uh, diluting our stake and to have the NDPL and the Rajthani and the Yamuna, you know, private distribution companies to come in. I'll not go into that, but what I'm saying is the quality of conductors that they put, absolutely insulated and free from any perforation. So no perforation, no perforation takes place. No transmission losses take place. They put the best of transformers in place. I have, my constituency itself is being fed from five power grids, PP1, PP2, PP3, then Mangalpuri Industrial Phase 2, Raniba grid, and these are the five, you know, from five sites, and they have backfed the area. So that even if there's a, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a transmission error, they can take care from the other grid. So the power has become so stable in North Delhi that people have stopped using inverters and have, they have stopped using so-called generator, gen, gen sets which used to pollute the air. So it's a, what a, it's a very, very uh, good experience. Uh, when Mr. Anil Sardana joined here as the CEO, I mean, a lot of, lot of, lot of, I must say, uh, no, please remain seated. Nobody should stand up. Kindly remain seated. Don't uh, create this, this kind of a oh, disorder. If one person comes, all of you stand up. Please sit down. Our chief guest is here. I'll not dwell upon that, but I will say that the NDPL has set up an example of having to do things professionally, efficiently, and they have really inspired confidence in the consumers. And how fast is the redressal? I know if you call on the call center, the consumers' grievances are initially attended to. They have set up an example, they inspired confidence in the consumers. And I must say, hats off to Mr. Maurice Sena for the efficient management that they are doing in the entire Montreal Delhi. It is thankful to them for having to provide the quality of power. And 
they are they are not as greedy institution also they are not greedy power uh, power sector they, they they have been very fair when the D it goes to the DERC Delhi Regulatory Electricity Commission they have been very fair in their accounts whereas the other party has messed up the whole accounts I will not go go into it because I know the whole nitty gritty of how the accounts are fudged how the balance sheets are fudged and how everything is done I will not get into it but I I am here to compliment the NDPL for having to do a job which can make other states also they can put up they can repose their faith in Tata's that they they always do their job efficiently and proficiently. So thank you, Mr. Pavir Sena, for having to consent. Our institution shall go a long way because we have set certain benchmark, and the whole credit goes to a very young and a very inspiring faculty, and they are full of uh, spirit. They will take it forward to the next century, and I'm sure this institution will be on the on the on the map of this country shall be respected as one of the greatest universities. It's the, that day is not far. It's my prophecy, and the prophecy is going to be materialized very soon. <laughs> we are recognized under PF. We are net grade A institution, and our students have really brought laurels to this institution. I extend my hearty welcome to uh, the Vodafone Vice Chairman and Mr. Chavla sitting here. They've been kind enough to have spared that time. And last but not the least, my friend and our guide, Mr. Dr. Nitin Malik, who is a very, very dear friend of mine, but he is in his own right. He is the university represent representative here. He would have been a professor or the head of the department, maybe the vice chancellor. He soon he becomes. I always keep telling him, you don't deserve to be where you are. You deserve much more, and I wish him all the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Chairman, sir, for your wise words.